begrüßen Sie ganz, ganz herzlich auf dieser Bühne, Karina Wirth. Wir hören einen Vortrag, der heißt Getting a Bachelor My Way. Ja, ich möchte sagen, ich könnte Sie nicht begrüßen, weil mit mir redet Sie nichts mehr. Ja, aber du bist schön, dass Sie heute hier sind. Ja, genau. Also auch, ist sehr nervös, als Sie sagen, ja. Aber Sie reden in Englisch, das ist wichtig, weil äh, Sie hat mal gesagt, dass Sie in England sehr gut Englisch gelernt hat, aber gedacht, das passt doch zu dieser Geschichte. Und jetzt darf Sie in Englisch reden. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I hope you won't have any problems with my English. So, um, I talk about my time in Leeds, where I studied tourism management in order to get a bachelor. So, I'll start with um, why did I study in um, England? Why did I study abroad in a cold country and not in something more exotic like New Zealand, Australia, or US? Um, application process is very important if you want to apply for English University. And of course, The journey begins. Goodbye, Germany. What did I do before I left Germany, and what what did I feel? Um, the first days on campus were the worst. The first day in England alone, like not speaking any English at all. <laughs> Living in England was great. So I put some pictures together for you so that you just see how much I saw you. <laughs> and. The saddest part was the farewell, but it also meant that I finally made it and that I had the bachelor. Why did I decide to study abroad? Well, the most important point was I needed to improve my English because I nearly failed A level because of English. It's great for the CV. Every every um, employee will be great if you speak English. And different culture. It's always nice to meet other people, other cultures. So that was. The main reason. Like, there are four simple reasons why I picked England and not the USA. Um, it's a member of the EU, which made it really easy for me to travel between Germany and East uh, England. The flights are really cheap Ryanair, German Wings, EasyJet, so it was great. Um, the application process was so easy. UCAS, it's a homepage, you register, and they tell you step by step what you need to do. You upload a picture, you upload all your personal details, a reference from a person um, who knows you very well, and then you pick five universities which or where you would like to study, and then you wait. If you get a confirmation letter like that, you made it. The university accepted you, and you can start being happy and being excited. <laughs> so, I told everybody I'm going to England. I was really crazy about it. So the first thing after the confirmation letter was telling my mom and my dad. <laughs> well, they were not so delighted. <laughs> um, the financial point, yeah, I needed to go to bank to take a student credit in order to finance my stay in England. Quitting my job, that was tough as well because I just started the job. So my boss was a little bit angry, but I didn't care. Arrival in Leeds. That's what I basically felt when I arrived in Leeds. <laughs> it was cold, it was dark. I had two big suitcases with me and I didn't know where to go. I didn't even know where my flag was. Um, a welcome and greeting team, they picked me up and they asked me, do you have your keys? And I was like, no. <laughs> so we finally made it and we arrived in my flat. It was hot. I couldn't open a window and it smelled like cat pee. So <laughs> I called my mom. Hi mom, I'm tired. Um, talk to you later. <laughs> so the International Welcome Week was really a great thing of the university because they supported you all the way through. They helped you to enroll in the university. They supported you in order to get a bank account. They um, introduced you to other nationalities or other friends, so I made so many friends in the first two weeks, great. The first days in England or on the campus, everybody called me love, sweetheart or darling. <laughs> like, in the first moment I was really shocked when the bus driver said to me, darling, can I help you? <laughs> um, my tutor, I wanted to say, Mr. Moss, could, you, um, could I answer something? And he was like, You don't say Mr. in England. You call me with my first name. You're so German. 
<laughs> then that was um, my schedule for the first year, four modules. I read through the handbook and the fourth module was Applied Technology and Finance. I stood there and I was like, my God. I left Germany, I quit my job, I don't speak English, and now I need to do an exam in Applied Technology and Finance. What am I doing here? So, I had five hours of lectures, five hours of workshop, great, but I studied 30 hours every week at home for the first two weeks. <laughs> I got a job in Queen's Hotel, where I worked as a waitress, which was very funny because people thought I worked there for ages, so they said to me, you, Polish looking girl, get your Mandarin and serve dinner with Osama Lee and Kathleen. I stood there like, what's a Mandarin? And who is Osama? <laughs> That's living in England. The picture in the middle is a fake. It was a fancy dress party, so don't worry. Uh, <laughs> the picture in the right bottom is quite funny because this guy, he was from Malaysia, he always touched my nose and he said, Oh my god, your nose is so cool. And I was like, Why is my nose cool? And he said, It's so big and sharp. <laughs> <laughs> but we also traveled and made expeditions to York, Whitby, London, Scarborough. So it was really great fun to live in England. But of course, it was really tough studying there. Um, left corner, I'm on the stage getting my degree, bachelor. It looks really great, but it was really boring. You sat in the room for two hours, then you got on the stage, shook hand, and that was it. <laughs> so that's my degree. It's in a folder, so I never look at it, but I have it. <laughs> so it's a great feeling, and I feel much more confident in English now, and it was the best time in my life. So if you want to study in England, or if your kids want to study there, I can recommend it, so just do it. So. That was pretty much it, so thanks for listening. Heute schon, wie sehr sie leidet, aber ich finde, sie hat es absolut super gemacht.